2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan with you, joined by Doris Burke, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge reporting courtside. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. Sadiq Bey is out there with DeAndre Hunter. And it's Capella in at the center position. And for Boston, the wing pairing, it's White and Brown. Jason Tatum is out there with Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. We'll take a look at the Celtics. They already find themselves, Greg, in a must-win situation. Dropping game one was a shock to their players, coaches, and certainly the fans. Truth is, a few teams have come back to an 0-2 deficit at home. And yes, it is rare. Expect them, though, to come out tonight with purpose, with a fire in their bellies. They know they can't leave anything out there on the floor tonight. I'm looking at you. You've got a fire in your belly, don't you? Yes. I'm raw and ready to go. Bailey's the long-range jumper. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Bounce pass, young. Bay, first shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Outside Holiday, and again, Boston with the triple. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4", he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Now, here's Bay. Nice to the hoop. Capella and the dunk by Capella. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Here's Brown. And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there. But he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on DeJounte Murray. You have to have the ability to force the defense to commit one way or the other. Jalen Brown's aggressiveness does just that. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. You think about what Jalen Brown brings to the table. Elite athleticism, three-point shot making, attacking the rim in transition, so much to like. Both good from the line that time. The Hawks have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Young with the ball. Now guarded by Porzingis. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Brown outside. Back to Tatum. Shoots over Capella, and there's the bucket from Tatum. Now that mid-range jumper is so on point. Jason Tatum is a three-level scorer. Pass to Capella. White against Murray. Bay gets the bucket. Indeed. Bay's got five points Three. so far. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Count that one. I tell you, it's seven foot three to have that kind of body control. For staff Porzingis makes it look easy. This is it to Bay. to the wing for three Murray Boston grabs the miss that was the first miss of the game four for five right now what a good start and the dunk by Tatum boy what a pass by Jalen Brown probably one of his most improved areas young outside Bay finds Hunter shot clock at six and stolen by Tatum Here's White. Misses the step back jump shot. And Murray's got the ball here for Atlanta. Trailing by five. They'd like to continue the success they had on Friday night here. Yeah, and bottom line, they found ways to score. Right at the game plan going in, it was 
right on the money. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score at the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. And now, first time out called here for the Hawks. And momentum going the other way. Can they find some answers? I think here you have just got to get back to what you do best and then live with the results. Defense the Celtics. Seven point differential. Back to Young. Here's the three. Connects from three point range. Young. And one thing about Trey Young, this guy has zero fear. Always looking to pull from deep. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Jason, and not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue. That pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now, here is Young over Holiday. Young's Great. shot is Young. good. Young's got his second bucket of the night. Nice job capitalizing down there. Young good at probing inside and finding some space. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two and the free throw line. That's on Jalen Brown. First be to attack there and then create the contact. And a moment now, look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Boston. Straight away, they, they've opened things up offensively with skillful passing, running smart plays, and just setting guys up for success. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. He's off on the second. The Celtics with the lead. Outside, White. Pass to Holiday. His shot is good, making a perfect two for two from the floor. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the bank. Bay with it. Out guarded by Persingas. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Hawks will retain possession. Here's Bay. He has six. Five to shoot. Deep two from Murray. And he connects with the jumper. Murray's got his second basket. And this coaching staff wants Murray to be the shot caller. Let him run the pick and roll and just make things happen. Now here's Porzingis. And Drew Holiday. The bucket on the assist by Porzingis. Holiday's got seven points in the game. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And Sadiq Bey picks up the foul. So that's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. And some changes here for the Celtics. Al Horford is checked in for Brown. And it's Pritchard in for White. Then for the Hawks. Okongwu's checked in for Capella. Johnson comes in for Hutter. And it's Bob Gunnett in for Murray. The chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed.
The Hawks trail by five. Here's Young. He's got five. Lobbed up there for Johnson. Rozingas with the steal. Here's Holiday. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Young, a deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of the game. Well, Celtic shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Free throw, good holiday. Bruno Fernandos check in for Atlanta. Both free throws, good from Drew Holiday. Here's Young. The pass to Fernando. To the middle and stolen by Horford. And up the court come the Celtics on the break. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And now that's 11 points for Drew Holiday. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And coach knows. It. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's not, keep riding it. And stolen by Horford. Here's Hauser outside Holiday. In the corner, Hauser with it. Just five on the clock. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Young dishes to Bogdanovich. Kicks it out to Johnson. Three-point territory. Rebound, Boston. I'm honestly not sure what that was about. Maybe a protest against this coach. Now that is inexcusable. That kind of shot selection won't do them any good. Young best will Kongwu. Bogdanovich dishes to Okongwu. Hawks passing it around. Young looking it over. Oh, and that one had the right spin on it, and it is good. Young's got seven points. And, and yes, sometimes Young can't be stopped. This is the kind of player he can be. Hauser sinks the triple, and the Celtics lead by 12. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. And the officials in the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. Matthews, he's checked in for Trey Young. Matthews. And Holiday kicks to Cornett. Hauser the pass to Pritchard. From past the arc. Up again. And it's Horford with the extra effort. Well, you love Horford pounding the offensive glass, extra possessions, so many opportunities for your team. Matthews finds Bogdanovich. Back to Matthews. Six to shoot. Fires away from way outside. Bogdanovich, no luck. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can count on him to continue missing. Count that one. He's got 15. I am simply blown away by his accuracy. He has made every shot, and what's most important, his team is winning. Here's Bogdanovich, and that one drops for him. Well, nice job by Wesley Matthews to read the defense and put it on time and on target. Pass to Hauser. Knocks down the three ball. Hauser's got six. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Bogdanovich left side. And again, it's Atlanta. Bogdan, and if you let Bogdanovich square up from mid-range, it's going to be a long night. Here's Cornette, covered by Okongwu. Passes to Pritchard. Puts up a deep three. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Johnson. 
It's Bogdanovich on the wing. He gets it in there. Bogdan Bogdanovich. Austin leading by 16. Now here is Holiday. 15 points in the game. Into the lane. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Great speed and tricks on the drive. Holiday excels at putting defenses in those compromising positions. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And the first one drops. Austin making a switch here. Tillman's checked in. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Murray's checked in for Bogdanovich. Both free throws good from Holiday. Yeah, drawing fouls and making them pay at the line. And here is Murray. Just three on the clock in Atlanta again Murray. with the bucket. And Murray looking comfortable in this offense, including understanding when to look for his. And so it's Boston with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. Back to the action in just a minute. This as we get going here in game two and a very convincing performance from the Celtics so far just stretching out the floor that first uh, they had the defense scrambling and that was obviously the plan coming in now the big question can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along Austin leading by 16 and so in the game for the Hawks we've got Matthews Clint Capella is out there with DeAndre Hunter. Then there's Murray. And it's Bay in at the three spot. And the basket by Hauser. Hauser's got eight points. And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Hawks. Hunter with it. No scoring in this one. And Matthews picks the Hunter. Just four to shoot. Over Tatum, and the Hawks getting another basket right there. Yeah, six, seven, Hunter. Nice handles there, showing him off on that possession. And here's Tatum for three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Here's Brown following the score by DeJounte Murray. Here's Hauser. He's defended by Bay. This ball movement by Boston. Here's White. Whoops, there's the 24 second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Zinkis is checked in for the Celtics. And the Hawks making a change here as well. Young's checked in. the three-pointer to fall. Hunter's got five points now in the quarter. And the defense has to recognize this. Hunter is a legit threat to shoot off the catch. Tatum passes the Brown. Outside, Porzingis. Just five to shoot. Here's White. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. And the Celtics lead by 16. That's all about determination from Derek White. Doesn't let the contact deter him. Here's Murray. That's him. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. A 
adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. Well, this is a chess match. Looking ahead a few moves and trying to execute toward that. making a switch here. Cornette's checked in. On defense, Atlanta. They trail by 14. And White kicks to Tatum. Hits the three-point bomb. Tatum's got 14. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Drills the three-pointer. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Porzingis. Rocket six. Brown outside. And again, Boston with the triple. Jalen Brown with the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. Marie finds Bay. And they call the foul, so he's got the can one chance here to make it a three-point play. How about that move? Is this guy special or what? Just love watching him operate inside. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. On the free throw, no good. Celtics leading by 15, and here's Brown outside. His second miss, now two of four on the game. A nice shot by Young. He's got 12. A bad man on the offensive end. Young can really be a menace with his shoot. And here's Tatum for three. Hunter grabs the miss. The Hawks trail by 13. Porzingis with the block. Christoph Porzingis has proven over the course of his young career that he is willing to be a force as a shot blocker. Atlanta making a switch here. Bogdanovich has checked in. Off the inbound, and it's blocked. And here comes Brown, leading the fast break. He made that one. Basket number three for him. He's also missed two. Well, how about Jalen Brown in transition? A phenomenal finisher in the open floor. Here's Young, and he makes good on the way. Young. Young's got 14. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's Tatum. The shot, no good. Good work defensively by Bain. To the inside. Here's Hunter, again the Hunter score. Hunter playing to his strength. Hunter there knows he can rise up and knock it down pretty much over anyone. Bogdanovich against Brown. Pass to Persingas. The shot's good. Brown making the play. And the Celtics lead by 14. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Bay up and in for the basket. Number four. That makes him four for five now. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Here's Brown. That's good. And it's his fourth basket of the game. He's a strong four for six. Well, this is where having a tighter handle helps Jalen Brown in a pick and roll play. Just gets to his spot and scores it. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. 
in a wise move to call timeout there. They need to settle down a bit. They've been playing out of control at times here, and it shows with their turnover number. Celtics. Richard comes in for Tatum. Then for the Hawks. Okongwu comes in for Clint Capella. And it's Johnson in for Bay. The pass to Johnson. Bogdanovich dishes to Young. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. Young's got nine points now in the quarter. Just to Persingas. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Hawks making a change here. Fernando's checked in. Find the lane. Find the lane. One shot. There's one big man who exemplifies the evolution of size in the NBA. It's KP. Kristaps Porzingis can stretch the floor. He can get out and run in transition. It's a combination you almost have to have. Now here's Johnson. Nothing on the board. Bogdanovich, no luck. I I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great right. way right. to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Young against Porzingis. Young inside. Can't cash in from close range. Here's Pritchard, defended by Young. Brown outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Boy, he's putting pressure on the defense. That's two from downtown this period. Here's Fernando. Light covering. Fernando, the pass to Young. Adonovich inside, working on Horford. And Okongwu slams it in. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. What about the decisive finish? Great timing, tremendous force. Young, Porzingis with the block. Brown outside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It goes on Jalen Johnson. Don't you love how physical Jalen Brown is? This guy is not afraid to draw contact. On the night, he's gone two for two at the strike. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. The Celtics making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Wesley Matthews checked in for the Hawks. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Passes it to Matthews. Now Okongwu guarded by Horford. And Matthews with the basket on the assist by Okongwu. Pretty effort by Wes Matthews. Just buries himself in the paint and connects on a quality look. White against Matthews. 
the 11 footer white good white's got six in the quarter pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now back to young oh and there's the alley -oop. and Okongwu swims it in and how about the find by Trey making sure he keeps his teammates involved that's the run. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And so many teams now look to establish the perimeter to set up everything else. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is highly accurate tonight. The shot by Okongu, no good. Down low, here's White, and the layup falls. White's got eight points. Oh, that is impressive stuff from Derek White. Defender in his grill, no problem. Up there for Johnson. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley oop attempt there. Brown wide open. He fired. And another basket for Boston. And now he's taken a solid opening in the quarter and built on it here in the second. Now here is Young, guarded closer. Down to five on the shot clock. To end the run. Here's Okongwu, and Okongwu slams it in. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. You talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Again, the zone looks good for two. Atlanta's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. From the elbow, that's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Boy, he's been cooking, but the teammates, he's just not getting a lot of support from them. Yeah, he's shown terrific control of the pace and the rhythm of this offense. And I think they count on him for that. He is a tone setter, extremely unselfish. And it's good, two points. Young. Young's got 13 points in just this quarter. Love the determination from Young. He knew he was going to get bumped and knocked it through anyway. It's good from long range. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Jalen Brown has been leading the charge for the Boston Celtics. What an amazing quarter. There was absolutely no stopping it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, coach, they came at you offensively. So what has to change for you defensively? Well, a lot, obviously, with everybody on the floor. Uh, you know, they're capable of doing this, but we're not. It's just too easy. Got to tighten things up as we go along. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And hello again. What a showing tonight. A sold-out building is where the action is happening. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Taking a look at the Celtics, they have rebounded very well from their loss in Game 1 and have their eyes set squarely on evening this series up. What a response to a difficult opening game of the series for them. Kenny, what's your take on Boston so far? There was no shortage of dimes on this team, man. Numerous guys display good coordination, and lead the ball, let the great shot. Then full control of this game. And Shaq, what'd you see from Atlanta? Definitely they need to get out on the three-point shooters and contest. Oh, it's good. Let's see what happens when another team identifies the weakness. It just keeps hammering on. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. It's been a clinic out there by Jalen Brown. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. 
And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Out in the front court along with Tatum. And there's Porzingis, then it's Holiday, and it's Pritchard in at the two-guard spot. That's the Boston Five. Opponents have to be careful when Capella is in the area. What an impressive display of timing. Here's Holiday. Again, the Celtics good for two. Atlanta's gotten fewer than half of their three corners to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Round against Bay. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Bay's got 12. Bay's gone five of six in field goal attempts tonight. Here's Pritchard. For the three, and again, Boston with the triple. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Murray, the pass to Hunter. Bob pass to Capella. The high to stuff the alley-oop. And this is the chemistry Capella has with his guys. Exceptional at feeling when to go for alley-oop. The pass to Pritchard. Let's the three fly. Hunter grabs the miss. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Well, tremendous effort, tremendous timing. The ability to alter shots on the perimeter, that was beautiful. Here's Pritchard after the basket by DeAndre Hunter. Outside Holiday. Here's Persingas. Count the basket. He's got 10. It's really tough to game plan for Christoph Porzingis, one of the top inside outside threats in the entire NBA. Up top, Bay. He's covered by Brown. They grab their own miss. And that one, good. Capella. Capella's got four points now in the quarter. Boy, excellent start to the second half. They've missed just once in five attempts. Holiday, and he uses the glass on the way. Yeah, the evolution of Tatum as a passer is evident. This guy more committed than ever to making the right play. Bay in the post. He's covered by Brown. Shot clock at five. Tries it from the top of the key, and he hits the jumper for two. Murray's got 12 points in the game. And in recent years, Murray has become one of the more effective high-volume mid-range shooters in our league. Tatum kicks to Brown. Good, and it's Tatum picking up the assist. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide-open look from mid-range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Murray outside. Shoots from the elbow. And again, it's Atlanta. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Holiday dishes to Brown. Puts it up from 17. And again, it's Boston converting. Jalen Brown very capable of taking stretches of games over. Right now, he's got the entire offensive arsenal working. Over to the left wing. Bay wide open, and he fights. Hits it from three-point range. He's got 15. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. The wide open look here for Perzingis, and they come right back with their own three point. Well, the unicorn, Mr. Porzingis, the answer from three, his specialty. Count that one as his seventh bank in eight attempts. A scorching 88%. What a great shooting performance. His percentage is outstanding. And it's slammed in by Holiday. And he's got it all working for him tonight. Holiday's effort level and energy are off the chart. To the paint, Murray. And it's Murray with the jam. Well, this is the kind of pass that gets everyone excited. It's also how you build great team chemistry. Tatum passes to Holiday. Here's Pritchard. Outside Tatum. Mr. to Persingis. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle. And now a three-point play chance here for him. Defensive ball. Well, this is what you want to see. It's 7-3. Kristaps Porzingis finished through contact. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Celtics? They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. 
And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. I think another thing that's striking here tonight, the ball movement is incredible. Again and again, they're making smart passes to ready shooters. That free throw good from Porzingis. Atlanta calls timeout. You look at Jalen Brown, what a contribution. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hand as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. Atlanta's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Murray finds Hunter. Got a piece of it. And it's out of bounds for the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. Derek White checked in for Boston. Derek White. Anticipation on the defensive end by Derek White. Send it back, young sir. In the corner. Tatum with it. This one for three. Count that as his seventh field goal. Nine drives. He's shooting 78%. Maybe he's not one of the elite sharpshooters, but even still, that's not a shot that he can afford to give him. Well, not exactly one of those big, burly power forwards, right? He depends on his leaping ability more than those guys, and it serves him just fine. Boy, that's a backbreaker. Takes it right into the rim and extends their lead. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. A nice finish by him. Boy, every time he goes up now, it just looks like the shot's going in. He's perfect from the field in this quarter. Here's Holiday, and it's good for two. Holiday's got 25 points in the game. Able to absorb contact. Holiday is not someone that is prone to lose focus on these tough takes. Pat Donovich wide open. That's in there. Murray with the assist. Murray's got his fifth assist in this one. Tatum against Bay. Knocked away. Tatum passes to Tillman. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Tillman's got his first bucket of the night. Murray dishes to Hunter. Back to Murray. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Luke Cornett. That's his first foul. The Celtics making a switch here. Horford's checked in. And then for Atlanta, Okongwu's checked in for Capella. And Wesley Matthews subbed in for Bay. Bogdanovich looking around. Six on the shot clock. Here's Murray. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring him back. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Bruno Fernando's checked in for Atlanta. Johnson comes in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Mind the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Free throw good, Murray. And, and you know, one look at Murray's game, and you can tell he's been well coached over the course of his career. His awareness, his work ethic, this guy is just always bringing it. Now here's Tatum. 17 points in the game. And the Celtics hit again from deep. 
you can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Murray down low, guarded by Holiday. Good. Hey, Murray. Well, when you have a bigger guard like Murray, that is not a bad shot. Pass to White. Launches it from deep. Rebound by the Hawks. Johnson right side. Second chance shot. Fernando. That's good. Fernando. Fernando's got his first basket. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Tatum. It drops. That's his ninth field goal of the contest. A blistering hot nine for 11. Now, this is one of the best scorers in the game today. Jason Tatum, we're getting used to performances like this. Now, here's Murray. He's got 23. Pass to Fernando. Clock at four. There's the triple. And there's Murray on the assist by Okongwu. Murray's got 16 here in the second half. And I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. It's deflected. Exceptional Two defense minutes. from Wes Matthews. This is one of the best defenders in the game. Holiday against Murray. And looks like no, that's the pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable, it, it creates that Sam much of an advantage Hunter. for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Austin making a switch here. Hauser's checked in. Now here is Holiday. 25 points in the game. Over Murray. Holiday gets the bucket. Holiday's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Plays mature and under control. Holiday doesn't need the flashy plays. He's very comfortable with that mid-range. Here is Matthews. It's good. And so far, going for more of an inside presence here in the second half, getting away from the three-point shot. Here's White, 11 feet out, and he hits it. White's got 12 in the game. Well, that's about concentration. Derek White had a hand in his grill, and he didn't let it deter him. Made jumper, yes, sir. Boston foul, Derek White. First personal foul. For Atlanta, they have made foul. two and missed two at the line tonight. At the line for the Hawks. Wesley Matthews taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Well, you consider Wesley Matthews' career and his ability as a 3 and D guy to become critical in so many different rotations. What a career. Young's checked in for Atlanta. Both free throws good from Matthews. Austin is on 4 of 6 from three point land since the start of the second half. Here's Holiday. Banked in off the glass. Holiday's got 12 points here in the second half. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. And you know, such a clever shooter. He makes sure to get himself a foul while putting up the shot. Long shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Atlanta. Take a break. Take a Trey break. Young. Two shots. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And so Young nails them both. And it's become clear what a leader Young is on this team. He senses when they need an infusion of confidence and always tries to provide it. There's Brown with the three. 
And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's Boston, ahead by 26 points as we get ready for the break. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we'll be right back after this. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. On the court right now for the Hawks. Sadiq Bey is out there with Matthews. And it's Matthews. And it's Fernando in at the five down low. No clue how he got that one to fall. Shooting for Atlanta. Sadiq Bey at the line for one. One shot. I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. There's the pass to Pritchard. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Brown's got six assists here tonight. Listen, you give a good shooter that kind of look, and it's going to go in. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. Showing off his inside game. Bogdan is an all-around scorer. Tatum passes to Tillman. Here's Pritchard, defended by Young. Here's Pritchard. Bucket is good. There, taking the defender off the dribble and then just cruising in for the layup. Young outside. He dishes it to Bogdanovich. Launches it. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got five rebounds tonight. Pritchard passes to Brown. From outside the arc, good on the triple. Brown's got 33 points. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. Elbow shot is on the way. And again, it's a manager. A solid mid-range shooter. Hunter knows where his strengths are. Here's Pritchard, defended by Young. A three from Porzingis. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And Young kicks to Capella. Hunter against Porzingis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. First and there, just foul. through activity, Second Hunter keeps foul. the pressure on the defense. Shooting for Atlanta, DeAndre Hunter at the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. An athletic forward with, with a versatile skill set. Hunter has also proven he can come up big in big moments. Boston making a switch here. Springer's checked in. And both free throws good for Hunter. The Celtics have gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Pass to Springer. And Capella sends it back. Inside, here's Young. It's good, only a few seconds into the shot clock. Young's got 24 points. 
They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Round inside, working on Bay. And there it is for him. Crown's got five points in the quarter. Well, that's where you use your athleticism and agility if you're Jalen Brown navigating to a high percentage look. B passes to Capella, and the dunk by Capella. The assist. And guys, he's the not D. an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. And Capella sends it back. And it's Young. The time on the assist by Bay. Bay's got assist number five here tonight. Round the pass to Tillman. Back to Brown. Trains it from beyond the arc. Brown's got 38 points. Yeah, in the first half, he was unstoppable from deep. Now, two more since the break. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And although he's smaller, young, willing to battle inside and shows you he can score through contact. At the line for one. Here's Holiday. Makes it off the glass. Holiday's got 31. Too bad you don't get points for degree of difficulty. Holiday showing how to handle some tight interior defense. Now, here's Hunter. Takes the 12 footer and hits. Holiday up top, defended by Young. Holiday gets the bucket. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart, and let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Hunter with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. Nice move. We step back and cast it up. He's got 19. So versatile offensively. When Hunter gets in a rhythm, he's capable of carving up a defense. And it's slammed in by Holiday. Some power coming from the PG. Ah, that's right. GA seeing more and more of that these days. Backcourt guys who can elevate. We know versatility is huge in this game. Just a tremendous job finishing that play. Wow. Bay against Brown. And they get it back. Young with no one around. That ball. Nice Three. feed that time from Bogdanovich. Boy, as we reach the latter stages, he's been in a ridiculous groove. They simply can't get over the hump. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. When you are the aggressor, being assertive, very often you're going to get the whistle, as Derek White did there. White. Falls for White. I think the thing that's most striking about Derek White, guys, he's capable of affecting games in so many ways. Yes, he can score it. Excellent passer and a very versatile cross positional defender. A guy who can contribute to a good team. And both free throws, good for White. The Hawks trail by 21. Young passes to Capella. Horford against Hunter. Let's it go from 14. Capella and the dunk by Capella. And that's Capella getting rewarded for his effort on the glass. Love when that kind of hustle pays off. Holiday, the pass to Persingas. Outside, White. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Atlanta's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. May kicks to Capella. 
Bogdanovich with it. Out guarded by Porzingis. Yes, that goes in. And you have to admire Bogdanovich's confidence. Not easily shaken inside, even with the defense right up on it. Really left alone that time. Crown's got 41. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Young finds Hunter. Bogdanovich against White. Bogdanovich passes to Capella. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Przingis. Great initiative from Capella there. Seeing an opportunity to score and getting the D tag. for the Hawks. Clint Capella. Two shots. First free throw is good. And the defense Capella provides is huge. I mean, a legitimate shot blocking threat who also rebounds the ball at an efficient rate. DeJounte Murray, he's checked in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. All free throws good from Capella. Boston leading by 18. Now a timeout called by Boston. And he could tell his guys starting to wear down a little bit. Call time to just let them get their legs back under. Man, please give a big round of applause for your Celtics youth tag team. Present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jalen Brown. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. Falling into a two-game hole would have been a disaster, and he knew it. He's done everything in his power to get momentum back on their side in this series. Now here is Holiday. Outside, Horford. Passes it to White. Back to Orphan. Five on the clock. Here's Holiday. A shot's good on the assist by Horford. And that's now 37 points for Drew Holiday. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Here's Murray. He sinks the 11 footer. 28 points for DeJounte Murray. Well, the problem is they haven't gotten production from any other spot, but right now this guy is cooking. Brown finds Holiday. Outside, Porzingis. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Challenging this D with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half, and he also hit one in the first half, too. White against Murray. Another three for Atlanta. Murray and an eye three for points. an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Count that bucket. You simply must stay attached to Jalen Brown in a catch-and-shoot situation so dangerous. Young dishes to Hunter. Pass to Bay. Another three the for D. Atlanta. Bay. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Now, here's Brown. And another basket for Boston. Brown showing off that delicate touch, becoming much more reliable with his jumper the longer he plays in the NBA. 
to the inside. Zingas with the steal. Holiday against Young. Outside Holiday. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Well, this is what you're trying to do. Put the game away. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. Hunter, no good. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. And guys, that's going to wrap it up. Fans are piling out the exits. Obviously a huge win here in game two for the Celtics. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. And this win has really got to feel fantastic, guys. It evens up the series now at one game apiece. Yeah, I mean, it's a whole new series now. The best of five, if you will. You never want to lose two to start the thing off. But right now, they've got something to be happy about going into game three. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Jalen Brown. What you love about his performance is that he is simply taking what the defense allows and then making the most of his opportunities. Here's Brown after Clint Capella's bucket. Brown inside. Holiday left side. From 11 feet away, it's hauled in by Trey Young. Down low, Capella. That's in, coming off the assist from Young. And it could have been a foul call on the shot as well. Capella maintains the focus, though, and finishes. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it. I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstating it. I agree with you. I mean, going down 2 0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But now at one game of peace and with some momentum, this is anybody's series. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long, everyone.